the rainbow wall. Tony and Tessa were on their own in Wellington Square. They'd called for Rocky, but he was going to the shops for his mum. They'd called for Ben, but his mum said that he had to stay in and tidy his room. They knew that Jamila would be helping in the shop, so she couldn't come out to play. The twins were bored. They wandered over to the alley by the joke shop, and Tony noticed two tins of paint by the dustbin. The twins went over to have a closer look. Leaning against the wall by the tins were two paintbrushes. Tony suddenly smiled and turned to Tessa. We could paint, he said. That would give us something to do. Paint what? asked Tessa. Anyway, it's not our paint. Somebody must be using it. <laughs> Tony thought for a moment. He looked round the alley. There was nothing much there except for the dustbins. Then he had an idea. We could paint the wall, he said. Nobody's going to miss a bit of paint. Tessa looked at the large bare wall. We could paint a rainbow. She reached for one of the tins. This is red, paint, she said. What colour's the other tin? Tony bent down to look inside the other tin. It's yellow, he said. Oh, red and yellow, just right for painting a rainbow. Tony picked up the other brush and the twins began to paint on the wall. Tessa painted a large curved red stripe and Tony painted a yellow one. They got as much paint on themselves as they did on the wall. It didn't take them long to finish and the bare wall was soon covered by a large, brightly coloured rainbow. It was a bit odd since it only had two colours, but it still looked good. Tony and Tessa looked at their painting. They were pleased with what they had done. It's a good painting, said Tony. Yes, it's lovely. Tessa agreed. Tony put the tin of yellow paint down by the dustbin and stood the brush against the wall. Tessa was still looking at the rainbow when the door of the door joke shop opened and Mr Miller came striding out into the alley. Tony saw Mr Miller first. Look out! he called to Tessa. She quickly put the paint down and followed Tony who was already running out of the alleyway. Mr Miller walked over to the paint, but just as he was about to pick it up, he noticed the rainbow painted on the wall. He just stood and stared, and then he shouted, My wall! My paint! Who painted my wall? He shouted very loudly. So loudly, in fact, that a lot of people rushed into the alley to see what was wrong. They found Mr Miller standing next to the tins of paint, looking very cross indeed. The people looked at Mr Miller, then they looked at the rainbow on the wall. The people thought the rainbow was lovely and everyone wanted to know if Mr Miller had painted it. Did you do this? they asked. Did you paint this lovely rainbow? You must be very clever. Now Mr Miller did not want to say that he was cross about the rainbow and he wanted the people to think that he was the clever person who painted it. He quickly stopped looking cross and smiled. Yes, he said, I painted the rainbow. Tony and Tessa had not waited around for Mr Miller to shout at them. They had run off very quickly and were now near Fred's shed in the park. After all the excitement of painting the rainbow, they were bored again and looking for something else to do. Painting the wall had been fun and looking at Fred's shed, they both had the same idea. We could get the paint, tins of paint, said Tony. We could paint the shed, said Tessa. They both grinned as they thought of the fun, fun they could have painting Fred's shed. But Fred had other ideas. Fred had heard the twins talking and he ran out of his shed, shouting and waving his arms. Oh no, you're not going to paint my shed! The twins didn't bother to say and argue. They took one look at Fred's red angry face and ran off as quickly as they could.